Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Inizor Education. Um, we continue solving problems as part of the course Math Plus and Problems presented on Unizor.com. In this case, we are uh, solving the problem in a category called arithmetic. This is arithmetic 08 problem. Now, um, the website contains not only references to the video, so if you will go to this website, choose the course Math Plus and Problems, choose the category uh, arithmetic and go to arithmetic 08, you will have two things. Number one, reference to a video, uh, and number two, you will have a textual part of the same problem presented in a textual format, in many cases with the solution. And uh, I do suggest you to not only watch the lecture, but also read the textual part, which is basically like a textbook. And also what's very important is to solve the problem just yourself. So probably it makes sense to start from going into the textual part reading the problem, try to solve it yourself. It's very important, even if you don't really solve it, it's still important to think about the problem before you really um, uh, uh, watch the lecture where I present a solution to this problem. It's very important because, because the, it develops your analytical abilities. Even just thinking, if you don't really get to a solution, it's still important. Now, in this particular case, the problem is very simple. However, um, it's very easy kind of a, to solve it, let's say, with a brute force method of algebra. Now, I uh, specifically uh, categorize this problem as arithmetic because I prefer that the arithmetic problems, um, uh, in many cases, can be solved just without pen and paper or, or a computer or anything like that, just in your head. And that's exactly what I'm suggesting right now. Uh, we will solve this problem in, in such a way that it definitely can be solved just in your head. You don't really need to put any kind of equations, algebraic equations, etc. So that's why I present it as an arithmetic problem. Okay, so what's the problem? The problem is very simple. You have certain number of students in the classroom and certain number of desks. Now, students can sit either single uh, uh, at, at every desk or two students, let's call it double. So it's either single or double. Well, obviously, if you put double, you have more dense um, filling uh, of, uh, of the desks. Now, here is the problem. If you have a single student, a single student per desk, then five students without desks. So the number of desks is insufficient to accommodate single students. However, if you have doubles per desk, two students per desk, you have five desks unoccupied. Well, obviously, because you put two students per desk, it's more dense population, and so you have desks left. Well, so, what, what it means, it means that certain number of desks have to have double and certain number of desks have to have single students if we would like to completely fill up all the desks so we don't have any waste basically of real estate. So, um, question is how many of these, how many of those? So now you can just, you know, pause the video and think about it yourself. And again, think without writing anything, basically, right? And I will present the problem right now. I mean, the solution to this problem. So let's just think about it. Let's start from, let's say, doubles. If you have doubles and they 
populate certain number of desks, but not all. Five desks will be unoccupied. So what do you do in this particular case? So if you have certain number of doubles and certain number of empty, let's say you have five empty, and you have many of those. So you take five desks from here and take one student to empty. Now this would be one. And now these would be one. The rest would be still doubles. So how many singles will you have in this particular case? <coughs> five and these five. So you will have 10 singles. This is half of the answer. To fill up completely all the desks, some of them with two, some of them with one, you will have 10 desks with a single student on them. We used this particular condition. Now let's use this condition. We have single students per desk, and we have five students without the desk. So what do we do with these five students? We put these five students to some other five singles, making them double, which means you will have five doubles. And the rest will remain singles. So using one, uh, one condition, we came up with number of singles. Using another, we have number of doubles. So basically, that's it. The problem is solved. You have five doubles and you have ten singles, which incidentally means that we have what? Five doubles means twenty students. Twenty students. And ten plus five, fifteen desks. That's it. So the problem is very simple. All you need is basically do this logical manipulation how to transfer some students to some desks, which would give you the solution. Obviously, it can be done differently. It can be done algebraically. OK, let's consider we have x students and you have y desks. OK, so the first condition means that the number of uh, students exceeds the number of desks by five, right? If you put one student per desk, you will have five students without, so it means x minus y equals five, right? Now, if you have doubles and five desks are unoccupied, so, um, so w what, what does it mean from, from the equation standpoint? Well, if you have x students, um, now since they are double, they occupy x divided by two desks, right? Now, if you will add 5 unoccupied, you will have the total number of um, desks. So these are number of desks occupied by x students sitting two by desks plus five empty that gives you total number of desks well obviously it's very easy to solve this particular problem um, what you can do is you can put minus one minus here equals to zero then you can subtract one from another y would cancel out and you will have x minus x minus 2 is x minus 2 minus 5 equals 5, which means x minus 2 is equal to 10 and x is equal to 20. 
and if x is equal to 20, then y should be equal to 15 to satisfy this equation. So this is a brute force algebraic method, but I didn't like it in this particular case. I actually wanted to, you know, to give some exercise to, 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 to the brain. How, from, from purely logical standpoint, come up with this particular result. And that's very easy, as you see. Just, do the, j just using the logic which I presented. Let's just move students from one place to another, and that would give you both actual sites. Okay, that's it. It's a simple problem, but again, it's very important right now if you will go to the website, Math for Math Plus and, uh, and, and Problems, uh, Category uh, Arithmetic, Arithmetic 0 0.8, 0 0.8, read the uh, problem, and again, try to, without any kind of pen and paper, um, in just, just in your head, come up with these numbers again. Just go through the logic. I mean, you know the logic uh, from, from whatever I have just uh, explained. Try to repeat that logic in your head, so you will get the results. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much, and good luck.